welcome to a webcast. This is the OSS in Intra Clan Tournament Round Three. The Oceanic in the south we have in the red UEF Aussie and in the north as Purple Aeon Angel of Darkness. So we see Aussie's got quite a bit of stuff queued up here. Lots of eco, two factories right in the middle. Meanwhile, Angel of Darkness is with a much more typical build. One air, one land. He's actually behind on Eco because of the time it took his gunner to move up to the front and put down those factories. His engineers were left to grab all of his mexes. It's a very thinning build. We actually see a second factory is an air factory in the middle. That's interesting. Angel of Darkness uh, bombing a max. One fighter won't do much. Aussie pumping out tank party and fighters. Angel's air got their engagement there, but Aussie's got a second fighter coming in now. This might be an even trade. Although really not quite even because as anti aerians wasps are more mass effective, it costs a little less, so that's a bigger loss for Angel than it was for Aussie. But at the same time, Angel is... Is he head on Eco? No, they're not even on Eco now, it looks like. Let's see. Four, six, seven. Four, six, seven. Yeah, they're they're pretty close on eco. Aussie making an exit move with his air. I think this is a good time for it. He's got twice as many fighters. He can just really shut down the air. And that'll give him a big advantage.
Aussies are already starting to take aim here. And tanks not move to avoid it. Yeah, not too much damage though. Angel putting down appointments. Already actually doing a pretty effective job of taking its health down. I think Aussie needs to get some MLs here. There's one air. He's ahead on land, even. And just a few MMLs would uh, really turn the tide. And really, same goes for Love Darkness. Um, Aussie hasn't hit the bombers yet, so really the only way that Aussie could counter MM is to push forward with his land, potentially right into that PD. At the same time, though, Aussie's going to see that uh, Darkness is making air, so he's not going to want to switch to bombers. I mean, it's definitely the right move. He really needs those MMLs, though. Now Darkness is starting to push up with PDs. And we see a bomber for C. Which goes right in the action. I'll see running away from the air, but he did not get a very effective engagement there. But it looks like he still has air. And here come the MMLs. We'll see, definitely the right move. Take down those point defenses so he can push up with his superior tank numbers. And we see Titans coming out from Aussie. Looks like he's planning on flank. MML is being targeted at the max. Three is just barely enough to kill one mechs on a one shot if they've got a few and have some veterancy. They do need to be sad a little bit. They tend to like to fire at you, so they've got to be target fired on buildings when they're not uh, when they're not firing what they should be. Aussie now sending a few bots around the side. He scattered those, or the one air factory in the back at least, so he's laying down another in response. He's not expanding his ego though. That might cost him. He's got both of his engineers assisting. Well, at least they're not doing nothing. Meanwhile, Bloody is, or uh, Darkness rather, is just kind of sitting back and letting these MMLs do their damage. Oh, 
boss, these bots doing damage to that max. And Darkness going for a bombing run. Honestly, didn't really spread his unit out. Honestly, he has very flames at the moment, and two of them are just sitting there, not fighting at all. Okay, so now the rest of all teams have come in. And Darkness is going to the rest. Uh, he might get away with one or two. Meanwhile, Aussies bought north have killed the mechs and are moving in on the air factories. He's got a couple around the south as well. Moving more in from the west. Now oh, Aussies expanding his enemy some more. Darkness losing another max. And we see Aussie's got boost on his uh, units. He has uh, used that to get the MMLs out of danger. And also using it to get his bots out of danger. It's a good move. And he starts reacting, he just boosts away. <laughs> Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Darkness committing his planes now. He's not going well with that. Aussie has a pretty effective surround siege kind of going on here. Even though he's a uh, fight up on the hill, he's got his units down harassing. He will lose bots if he doesn't move them, though. And he is a little bit vulnerable in the center there, where darkness is being up. But it seems kind of like desperate last stand from darkness. His economy is uh, pretty shot. He's moving his ACU around the back. It's completely lost there and all. He's down a forward radar just outside what used to be Darkness's base. Aussie oh, scouting in force. Oh. threats for him to worry from, well, no threats to his air. Darkness putting down a research station, probably going for ACU upgrades, which are the last stand of the desperate. And one just cross one's fingers that they can get to overcharge.
Well, not a whole lot to say on this one. Uh, Aussie's closing in on darkness from all sides. Um, nothing to challenge him really on land or air. This will be a darkness's ACU. It's really kind of a slow paced game. Um, being a player moved all that quickly on. Um, obviously got in the center and set up really quick but didn't really expand a whole lot um, that being said he had uh, he had more than darkness did that's, uh, that's what got him the win